officer. Este es el departamento de la policía. Un perro va a ser soltado inmediatamente para conducir una búsqueda. Para su seguridad, por favor. I was unclear what was going on yesterday. Hold on. So the Police Fleet Expo is kind of like the Comic-Con of police cars. The NAB of uh, photography. It's a convention all about police cars. So if you're a law enforcement agency, um, if you're in the business, if you're an upfitter, if you're producing products and equipment for police cars, this is the place to be. This year happens to be in Savannah, Georgia. It's a week long conference with different events throughout the whole week. Today starts the first time that the expo floor is gonna be open, so I can't wait to get in there. Uh, outside here, we have some cars lined up outside the convention center. As you see, no one's really here because they're already all in there. But before we go out there, I just wanna show you this one truck so far. I mean, as soon as I was walking in, I was like, wow, that thing looks tough. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Setna. Yeah. Good job. Good job putting that together. That thing is sweet with the Valor bar up top. Oh, yeah. Enough of the jib jab. It's hot out here. Uh, I lost my wife. She's around here. Oh, okay. So, if you guys saw day one, uh, and if you haven't seen, I'm going to link it right here, link it above. We covered the ride and drive event, which is basically where you're test driving out vehicles and seeing uh, the capabilities of what they're doing and what they have to offer. They had land, they had sea, they had off-road, they had street, they had bikes, they had motorcycles. It's pretty awesome. It's all hands-on stuff. And if you saw day one, um, you know that Havana White is with me. Uh, my wife, ladies and gentlemen, she's back, not squad. And she's representing. Hold on, let's take a look. Aha, uh -huh. I see you got the Nod Squad shirt on. Yeah, Representing. Right. Uh -huh. Guys, you can pick one up at nick off duty.myshopify.com. I'm going to put it right here so you guys can go check it out. Get them while they're available. Only a little bit left. Let's go inside. How you doing? How's everything, man? Everything's going great. Say what's up to the Nod Squad. Hey, what's up, Nod Squad? Welcome right. to Police Fleet Expo. All right, so Pete, tell me a little bit of how you're involved with this. I'm actually the owner, along with my brother Henry, of Police Fleet Expo, and we're here in Savannah in 2019. Um, hosting about 800 fleet managers from around the United States, checking out the latest and greatest gear from all the biggest manufacturers, Sound Off, Whelan, General Motors, Ford, Dodge, you name it, they're here. 115 exhibitors and a two-day event, and it's a great time. Awesome. So, just behind those doors? Just behind those doors, Nick, you go in there, and it is a fleet manager's playground. Trust me. All right. Well, we're going in, and I'm taking them. Sounds good. All right. Have fun. Johnny Carroll, how's it going? Code how three. Doing? Hey, uh, so you're on YouTube right now. Say what's up to the Nod Squad. Hey, what's up, Nod Squad? How are you doing today? All right. So uh, we're looking to get one of those hats, and they're going quick. So how do we how do, how do we get one of those hats? Well, you got to come buy some stuff from us. No, no, no man, they are going quick because they're hot, man. Come see this hat. 
Oh, I like it. I don't, I don't thin blue line. Thin blue line. We get a little tight shot right there. Yeah, man, real nice. You guys are representing. Yeah, absolutely, man. So, tell me about the light here that you got yeah, going so it's on. Yeah, Focus 360 light. It's a spotlight that's remote control operated, and all you got to do is take the the light, which is up over here. If you can see right here. Oh, I see it up there. Move it around. Man. Hit the targets on the booth, and you get a light. But you know what? I'm not even going to make you do that because I love the Nod Squad. Oh yeah. And I want these guys to have some hats for free. Oh, can, can I do one for me and one for a giveaway? Absolutely. Awesome. All you right, got guys. it. That's mine. Here, Here look, bam. Code yeah. three, hooking you guys up. That's right, Code Three, baby. So look, we want to see you next year uh -huh. or this year. But if you can't come this year. Go right here to Code 3 ESG. Look at our product. Boom. Code 3. There it is, guys. ESG.com. And make sure, if you can't be here next year, that we see your products in your neck of the woods. All right. Awesome. Are you doing uh, ISG? All right. So let's do it. Power button. Bam. Spot on. Where are we? Oh, we're up on the wall. Let's see how easy this thing is. So I hit it, bam, right away. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Well, we rode in that one the first day. Now it's all shiny. Survived the track, I huh? Did, Everything I good. Did. Great. How you doing? Awesome stuff. So here's your booth. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't this great? Yeah. Dodge law enforcement. But I want to show you those are ballistic doors that we offer. Listen, I've seen that and I wanted to talk to you about sure. that because that right there is something that I thought about. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, when I first started law enforcement, I'm like, man, I absolutely that would be awesome. Man. I'm seeing a lot more of that. Absolutely. Sadly, this is what police officers need is protection. A lot of more in body armor, but then again, a lot of them in roadside stops, they need some additional protection. So we offer the ballistic door. Cool. It's 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 factory installed crash tested warranty through our, our dealership body it gives you another level of protection yeah this particular one is level uh, NIJ is the National Institute of Justice level 3 which also protects you from a rifle round on this I, I've it's, seen it's, some it's of installed those. in the door you can see some of the rounds that it protects the officers from yeah it does add some weight to the vehicle so actually we uh, we upgrade the hinges on the vehicle as well for okay. the additional weight for the slamming back and forth so the officers getting protection obviously if they're driving or more importantly if they stop let's say a felony vehicle stop they can swing open the door yeah. Yeah. And at least we're going to call it the K5 area that officers protected from that yeah, from, from the rounds. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Without a doubt, and yep. that's something that that I believe should be in every yep. police vehicle, something yep. like that. We offer that through the factory. Mm -hmm. It's installed and come right to. And if you look at a vehicle like this and has it in there, you don't know that the ballistic door is in there. Obviously, no. that's one of the reasons to have it. And if you want to look at the back side, you actually see the ballistic steel. This is ballistic steel where other manufacturers, if it's offered, uh, offer in a Kevlar and and. Uh, ceramic but the design of the Dodge Charger door and the space within the door we want with a ballistic steel good protection as well as there's technically not a shelf life on steel which as we all know with Kevlar yeah. eventually there is a shelf life on that yeah so we're so pretty those, excited about it those guys that don't know that's that's absolutely correct yeah. after a while those vests you got to turn them in and absolutely where this is just steel there's three pieces of steel in the back of this installed in the door once the door back together you'd never know it's in there and it is protecting our officers awesome thanks man all right thanks. appreciate Great it good seeing you. you again stop back I will. Guys, check it out. An electric police car. With the lights and everything. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? All right, man. Mike Lambrexi, General Nick, Motors. Nick, with uh, the Nod Squad, 55,000 members here watching you. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Well, this is the Bolt Electric fully electric vehicle okay and uh, now you see the police logos and uh, that is for a reason because uh, actually for a city vehicle this is a, a direction we're going like parking enforcement that type of thing right. 238 miles of range oh, wow. uh, on one charge so you can drive all day basically especially yeah. in a city it has the ability to have uh, DC fast charge so you can recharge in one hour on right. a DC fast charger but there's a lot of applications like this vehicle here for parking enforcement you see in the back, you've got a cargo area, and we've even got it set up for uh, the, the parking um, enforcement uh, equipment. But right. there's a lot of different ways you can go with this. Uh, prisoner transportation, there's there's a... Prisoner a transportation? 
not with the, you gotta have a seat. Oh, <laughs> you gotta have a seat. You know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> but it does come standard with a rear seat. Okay. But this, we, in order to do this, you remove the back seat. So Correct. Uh, that kind of gives you, a, it, it's very versatile. Uh, and uh, the nice thing about it as well, it's got regenerative braking with the electric systems. So that allows the, the driver to recharge the vehicle as they're driving. Ah. So you don't even use the brakes to stop it. It regenerates the battery by using the inertia of stopping the vehicle. Wow. So, uh, it allows it to have even further range than 238 miles. So wow, that's a lot to lot to this vehicle. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Well, yep. thanks for your time. Yes, thanks for stopping by. All right, take it easy. All right. So guys, perfect example of electric cars. I mean, everyone wants to drive one of these bad boys. Oh, the muscle. But as a law enforcement agency, you might look into something like this for the other units such as code enforcement, parking authority, other units such, such as those, that you might just get a fleet of those for those guys because they're really not using day-to-day uh, -day patrol cars like this to do what they need to do, like the wraparound bar for his pit maneuvers, um, things for prisoners in the back. They don't need all that. They just need something like that. They can hold their boots. They can hold their cargo that they need for uh, code enforcement and they can drive around one of those. Oh, that's a must. You must be playing that soundtrack at a convention like this. Are you the man to talk to? <laughs> How you doing, How you Nick? Doing? Miguel. Nice How you me. doing? I don't know if you know, but I do some videos on YouTube. I already know who you are. Bro. You already know? Yeah, I know. You saw I the video. I seen the video. FHP. FHP. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, and, that was a great video. Fact, in that video, I think we yeah. showed one of these guys We were here. focusing on, on our pit bar and push bumpers that we do. All right, so yes, this sir. is the one that the top one, FHP. Obviously. FHP utilizes Georgia State Patrol as well. Right. And we have other, other agencies throughout the country that are, that are using our product now. Funny thing, yeah. Georgia State Patrol, a lot of them requesting yeah. Georgia State Patrol. Heck you got yeah. the hookup? We got the hookup for you, you man. You can hook us oh, up? We'll hook you up. All right, Georgia State Patrol. We're in. He's promising. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. We got you. So tell me, tell me more. Tell me more. Well, we got, you know, they've been tested and proven in different agencies throughout the country, like right. I mentioned. Uh, Florida Highway Patrol, big supporter of Weston and uh, Georgia State Police, Virginia State Police, New Mexico State Patrol, definitely supportive of our product and uh, you know, we're, we're, we're working with it. And I see you got a, a winch down there now, that's yes, like a, a super duty one? What that's that? our, our, our newest uh, acquisition, Super Winch. Okay. Good brand, great winches, uh, they've been known throughout the uh, industry uh, for a long time. Alright. Yes. So. What else you guys got besides the push bumpers? Uh, we're introducing some of our interior products, Defender Series products like the partitions, door, door panels, uh, plastic seating, all that good stuff for the interior of the police vehicles now. So we're working with that now as well. Awesome stuff, yes, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate your time. Hey, no, thank you for stopping and, by. And I'm going to get your number for that Georgia State Patrol. We're in. We're in. I'm we'll help you out, brother. Thank all you. Right, take it easy. Nice seeing you. All right. Guys, check this out. I'm at the Pro Guard booth and I'm here with Mike. <laughs> How are you? How's it going, man? Great, great. What's going thanks, on? Thanks for coming. So tell me a little bit, tell the Knot Squad a little bit about what you got going on back Absolutely. here. This is our uh, Viper Shield partition. Okay. It's a level 3A ballistic shield integrated into the back of our partition. You've got full protection. There's a, yeah. So let's let's run that how we use it. Yeah, so front side dra driver release only. you got a T-handle pull. It's going to drop out. A level 3A ballistic shield, we call a rapid de deployment device. Mm -hmm. For whatever you need, if, if there's a traffic stop or a warrant you need to serve, and you're unsecure, you just grab this panel and, and you've got... Uh, Get out there in seconds, huh? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Also, it's always there, it's always available. It's not under your trunk stored, or it's in the police station. So that's what I was, was going to ask you, like, so what's the advantages of carrying it back here versus throwing it back here in your trunk? It's here, it's always available. When you need it, it's there. You don't have to fight to the trunk to get it out, buried yeah. underneath all of your equipment, yeah. or it's maybe back at the station. Yeah, I guess it's kind of similar to having a rifle in your car versus in your trunk. It's there, and here's just another, you know, you're kind of running out of room in the front seat with the computers and everything. Kind of genius to put it right back there. Absolutely, it's always there. Your mind knows it's always there. When you're ready, it's ready. Thanks for your time. You got it. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. Appreciate it. So guys, real quick, at the ProGuard booth, Look at that. To put your handgun here, or if you want to put your secondary weapon here, bam, or if you uh, confiscate a gun and you're tra uh, transporting it, a little lockbox in the middle console there for you to stow your gun, handgun. Wow, I haven't seen that before. Pro guard. So, fun fact 
federal signal, if you guys watch FHP, they had the Valor light bar. Matter of fact, I think that's it right there. The Valor light bar. That's on top with like the little V shape, the point that comes out, so you can see it from the side and the intersection and stuff. Same light bar right there. Oh, how's it going, man? Yeah. Hey, and from Federal Signal, here he how is. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good, man? sir. How are you? How's it going? It's going great. Going great. You checking out the Governor's Office of Highway Challenge? Yeah. So, so I was mentioning I do uh -huh. a series on YouTube called Police Cars. But that was in the FHP video that we did. It was. This yeah. is the, this is a mimic of the FHP cars. That's got all the same equipment on there. Absolutely. Sweet. Yeah. And you said this is the Governor's Office of Highway Safety, some kind of challenge? Yes. This is the uh, Georgia Governor's Office okay. of Highway Safety. This is their challenge vehicle. Okay. So this is a uh, program they run where uh, different departments will turn in different criteria, reporting, and they have a chance to actually win this vehicle. Ah. So they're going to be giving this away in September of this year. And this is for the state of Georgia? State of Georgia. Yes, All right. So Absolutely. You're a law yeah. enforcement agency in Georgia. Do they know about this already? They do they know, about know about this. About they that. should know about this. You Absolutely. should know. Yeah. Back in Florida, shout out to Sunrise PD, we have one similar and they won that charger that we covered. Right. Right. So, and this has got some cool technology. It's got the Valor, yep. which is multi color it's got a really uh, unique feature on the rear deck I'll kind of show you that you can see it's blue right now on this back glass Going back. yeah yeah right there blue. so we got blue we got gray we also have the building okay so it's all matched up so we can do a directional on it so tell me what we just saw because you were in there and you went from and we got blue, we got boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So what we've got is we've got a rear deck light here. It's going to be blue, so it's going to give warning potential, whether it's in flashing mode or it's in just steady mode. Yeah. And then we can also add reverse. So when you have multiple partitions in the vehicle, it's harder to see out of the back of the vehicle. So we give you extra reverse lights. And then we can give you auxiliary brake lights. That way, if you're in traffic, yeah. maybe it's hard to see the brake lights, flashing lights, you've got some extra brake lights. Sweet, yeah. sweet and stuff. And then, have you checked out the Tahoe? I have not. Oh, you got to come check out. Time. Let's go check All it out. Right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that thing looks mean. So this is one of our Federal Signal Tahoe demo vehicles here. So okay. this has got all the latest and greatest technology on it that we have to offer. It's got our new police identifier light hanging in the passenger side so you can quickly identify your law enforcement. That's huge. And I don't know why anyone hasn't thought of that before because you got a lot of undercover agencies or, or I mean units that could utilize that. You see an unmarked vehicle. And a lot of times it could be an impersonator. That's, could. that's a sad fact. Right. Boom. Police. Yeah. Right. You know for sure. No questions asked. Correct. Mark now. Yeah. Mark. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then if you want to go where you know you don't want to be visible, then we can simply just hit a button. And it's out of the way. Out it's gone. Way. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is also multicolor, so we can add some red in. I know a lot of Florida agencies. Yeah, red and blues. We can throw the red in there. There it is. So you got red. And then this one also has the new audio messages. Audio have messages. Have you checked that out? No, what is that? Okay, so what we have is this siren system here is all digital. Okay. uses wave audio files. So we can actually import digital voice messages. So I know you're in Florida. Yeah. Hurricane warning. Hurricane warning. How cool if you could just hit a button and said hurricane warning in effect, please seek shelter. Wow. Right here. Really? Without having to jump on the PA. That's awesome. Also, if you have a canine, we can announce the canine's about to be released. So that's really good for a canine, guys. Yeah. And we have it on here if you want to check it out. As a police officer with uh -huh. some experience, okay. there's some people that can speak well, right? and it's just a fact, and some people that can't really speak well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So you might have one recording uh -huh. that comes out, or I work in areas that are people have, uh, you know, they speak Spanish only, right. or Creole, that's, that's Haitian Creole right. only. Right, right. So having these pre-programmed is huge. It is. It's huge. And what if wow. this was... English and Spanish. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You yeah. hit it. Permiso, por favor. Yeah, that, that, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be that voice, but something like that. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> can, can we give it a go? We'll get it. All yeah, right. absolutely. All right, here we go. I'm ready. All right, here we go. This is the police department. A police dog will be released shortly to conduct a search. For your safety, please exit the area immediately and locate the nearest police officer. Este es el departamento de la policía. Oh. Oh. Un perro va a ser soltado inmediatamente para conducir una búsqueda. Para su seguridad, por favor, salga del área inmediatamente. It's genius. Absolutely. It's genius. So you're covered. Federal signal. You guys, you're good. Thanks, hey, sir. Thanks for your time, man. I appreciate it. That was good to awesome. Meet you. Yes, sir. That was awesome. Awesome. Have a good one. <laughs> Babe, my, 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 where has the time gone? I don't know. It's like Disneyland. I know. We've been in here for hours. Uh, 
we're running out of time, guys, and we're trying to check out as much as we can. But we only got time for a few more booths, maybe one or two. So let's make them count. Following this, these look like candy stripes. It is Santa's workshop. Hello. Welcome. How you doing? Good. I'm Arnie Epstein, Vice President of Marketing. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick with Nick Off Duty, and you're talking to the Nod Squad. Hi, everyone. All right. So can you tell us what's going on here? Yes. I noticed you guys are a little bit different than everyone else here. It's cold <laughs> in right. August. What's yes. going on? So it's uh, Christmas in August. All so right. this is a sound off booth. We're celebrating all the new products that we're launching this year. So it's like Christmas in August. So let me take you in. Everyone loves Christmas. Yes. It's so smart. So yeah. one of the products we're debuting is the Recon bike with our Empower lights on them. So it's just like getting a new bike under the Christmas tree. Yes. And then throughout the booth we have all these little present icons and these means that these are new products that we are launching here at Sound Off. Awesome. So guys, check it out. So these are brand new. Brand haven't, new. Hit the haven't, hit the haven't hit the streets yet. Oh, sneak peeks. Sneak peeks. <laughs> and then for the big one, <laughs> this is our big present. This is the new Enfuse light bar. So it's brand new this year. We've introduced it as a cost-effective light bar that will be kind of the fusion of the very well-known Enforce and our Magnum light bar combined together to bring the best of both worlds. So brand new this year. It'll be out in a couple of months. So the Enfuse guys, stay tuned for that. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you. And I don't appreciate it. Wait. Your cookie. Christmas cookie. Sorry guys, no giveaway for this. This is all mine. Hey, you want to check out the Whalen Haunted House here? Look, take a look. Take a look. The big W on the outside. Hold on. Sorry for spinning you guys around. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well, sir. How are you? Nick. Nice. Nice, to meet, nice you. to meet you. Matt. What's going on here, man? You guys are the only ones with a haunted house. Oh, come on. It's not haunted no. at all. You got to come check it out, man. We got a lot of new products in here. All right, let's take a look. So what's the big reveal this right. year? We have the uh, Sencom Core that we're releasing, which is a new hardware system. And okay. then we also have this cloud-based system, uh, which is going to be over-the-air updates that we're going to be able to push, as well as a fleet management software. So on the right-hand side over here, we have a couple presentations going on okay. uh, where we talk about the Sencom Core and all the options that come with it, like expanded outputs and the ability to have multiple controls control heads and light bars and things like that, as well as uh, what the VSG is, which is a vehicle safety gateway, which allows us to connect to the internet and work on those things such as over-the-air updates, pushing firmware and command files. Whoa! <laughs> that was a lot of info. Yeah, it was. Very techy. Yes. Let's break it down. Alright. All right. So basically what we got yeah. is a new operating system called Sencom Core. Okay. It's got a ton of new features yes. that you guys are going to love. And then with that, we also have a cloud-based system that's going to provide a lot more stuff for fleet managers and uh, the ability for them to really control their fleet a little bit. So the core, the Gen Com core, yep. is basically you can hook up a lot more things to a it. A lot more things, almost limitless. So all you guys who love your Christmas tree cars, this is going to be We're good for keep them. It coming, <laughs> hey, thank you for your time. Of course, thank you for hey, coming. I really appreciate it. Awesome booth. Thank you. Very Only much. haunted house. Waiting for the person to go <laughs> and jump no, out. You know where that is? Over here. You got to check this out. Oh. Oh, got one more thing I didn't oh, tell you about. But wait, there's more. So one other thing that we're debuting right. is a new spotlight okay. called Argus. So the industry right now is used to the Unity spotlight. Yeah. We're trying to change that. So come over here and check it out. All right. So it's got gears in it. It oh, comes yeah, to life yeah. like that. Completely easy to control. Oh my. It's got a spot load built into it. Double tap. Nope. Nope. Double tap on this one over here. Okay. This one's got it. So we got a spot load built in. Double tap, goes to a flood mode. Oh, look at that. Turn it off, hit the home button, it stores. Mount it on the vehicle, you'll never see it. Sweet. Hey man, thanks for your time. Of course, anytime, my pleasure. Awesome. Have Old spotlight? Oh yeah. New spotlight. Genius. How's it going, man? Take it easy. Oh my God. I want to stay in there. I want to stand there longer. Unfortunately, our time has come at the Police Fleet Expo. But guess what, guys? We just... Got word that next year it's gonna be in Richmond, Virginia. If you guys are interested in coming, I'll put the link down below. You can get your tickets now, I assume. If not, just save that date, Richmond, Virginia, next year.
All right, guys, we got to head back to the airport. Yes. Because we're going to be late. We're going to be late. Yes. So we will see you when we see you. And if we don't see you, then we'll see you.